Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India We are beginning our fourth module and this is our first lecture for the fourth module on commonality and congruity in the diverse content of art. To understand that we must also focus on the basic ethos of a particular place that is common. Uh, due to its ancient and uh, stable culture. Uh, in spite of different disturbances, different invasion uh, politically and culturally that took place in the country. But uh, when we talk about the identity that is Indian, uh, it is very difficult to uh, decipher that particular concept because of the fact that it is very uh, eclectic uh, in nature. It has gone through several changes. Uh, by different influences uh, time and again and that gave it a unique feature and that is evident in most of the streams that is uh, existing now in the country. But most interestingly when we go back to the indigenous culture uh, like folk and minor art of India, we know that that has gone through uh, no patronages as such or even if there had been some supports that has come from the common people. Uh, they were not commissioned by the uh, royal court ever. Uh, it was connected to the temple and it was made by the people for the people and let us focus on that and see how because of all these reasons uh, there are different art styles that has come into the scene because of different influences from different sides. There are also certain characteristics that has come from west to east, it has gone from east to south and it travelled uh, all over within the country. But uh, uh, after the entire shuffling, uh, we could feel that the vernacular art or the regional art of this country could maintain their regional identities. Uh, very strongly with utter awareness. Uh, so, in this lecture, we are going to see a mixed bag of images from India, uh, which are different in their physical character that gives us a different visual identity, but the experience is uh, towards the commonality that is existing there. And slowly, at the end of this module, we will move to another topic, uh, there we will see how protected those uh, forms are that uh, the cultural forms that is uh, that belongs to one place which is just uh, about 100 kilometers away from another place and how protective those people are in spite of uh, all sort of uh, cross cultural um, interactions that took place and that has nurtured its fiber from uh, time to time. Uh, so, let us realize all those things with more examples and uh, when we look at them, we will also try to notice how different they are in their stylistic profile. Uh, for example, the angularities, the organic formation, the geometric formation and the other elementary um, aspects, uh, for example, the color scheme the use of line, the use of texture, the decorations, the space division, two dimensionality, three dimensionality, creating illusion in space and other things that should be our focus and that will enrich our way of uh, looking at things from a critical perspective. So, seen in the picture uh, is an image from Raghurajpur, Odisha and in this traditional Patachitra we can see the expertise of the people who have made them. Uh, what is seen in the picture is a space division which is very typical of this place to give it a distinct stylistic identity. 
and uh, it is also important to see how the geometric formations of simple uh, central composition with a square, a rectangle and finally a circle right at the center uh, is giving a sense of repetition throughout. Uh, the theme is very clear that it is a figure who is uh, in the center uh, with a blue bordered god who is repeated in the flower petals that are arranged in a repeated order and it also has a circular movement in its uh, static like though apparently uh, they are static and it tells about different stories which are connected to each other through different frames and all the corners and the extra parts which are uh, remaining uh, like uh, no nothing uh, is told there they are filled up with some decoration or the other. For example, we have the parrots in green which is a contrast color uh, that is not seen anywhere else, uh, but it is a distinct parrot green and the parrots are in that uh, color, but more than the naturalistic uh, imagery, they emphasized on the decorative qualities of each and every images that they uh, executed here and that gives it a very rich characteristic where not a single part is uh, kept empty and it also makes the composition more two dimensional and decorative. So, there is no illusion of space that is taking place there is just a trivial overlapping that is taking place to make a foreground and background very prominent and there are hardly any suggestion of a middle ground which is just below the feet of the characters here and uh, it is filled up with uh, interesting imageries and uh, illustrations from different myths. We see some characters which are highly animated and they are into action throughout. We will see uh, some similar um, artworks from the same tradition to get familiar with this art style. So, a similar artwork from the same genre having slight difference in the uh, image formation, but it has the similar character, uh, it, it follows the same principle. A slight variation in the formation with the basic principle maintained that gives it a strong identity that it belongs to Odessa. Another example from a different region that is from Bihar, it is a Madhubani painting done by a specialized community. The artwork does not have much of a feeling, it is all linear, it is full of linear texture, very spontaneous. Both the artworks have some western Indian influence into it, though they belong to the eastern part and uh, slightly northern part of the country because of cultural exchanges. But the space division here for is following the same rule that we do not see the space to have any optical illusion, rather the two dimensionality is maintained throughout that gives it a highly painterly quality into it. Another from the same tradition a Madhubani painting from North Bihar. It has a stylized feature in the horizontal stretch of the bird which gives it a very interesting division in terms of its space where the main characters in these figures are placed in a vertical order whereas the emphasis is there equally on the horizontal and vertical formation. We see the similar principle here where all the empty spaces between the main characters are filled up with some motives or the other. So, it is all entirely filled up to give it a two dimensional look. The use of line and color is also of a very simplistic kind where all the figures are delineated with single lines made out of black color and the 
spaces have no gap everything is very well confined and filled up with the basic primary colors another artwork from the same region following the same principle again a madhubani painting by the dushit community which is known to be the gond art which is quite well known uh, that derived from a traditional tattoo practice it shows a tree which is quite an imaginary tree which is the source of uh, prosperity we see the linear formation all over and the variation in the linear formations throughout so what we see there are different thickness of the lines throughout with textures but nowhere the color is filled up rather it's with the ink and with the uh, basic nib the everything is filled up the repeated figures with no focal point as such so when there is no focal point the entire artwork works as a focal point another artwork it's the wedding scene of ram and sita in its that's a thematic content and that's the minimum visual clue that we have that uh, ram and sita in blue and pink respectively they are getting married they are exchanging garlands as the ritual and the entire figuration has a vertical emphasis into it and the horizontal formation of the angular hands which doesn't have a clear cut anatomical formation is giving it a decorative quality that creates the balance because of its repetition durga with 10 hands and the formation of the hand is adding to the quality of its uh, freedom the creative freedom that was enjoyed by the artist it didn't follow the conventional norm of painting the idol seen in the picture is a very interesting uh, and unique thing where durga is holding the tail of uh the lion uh, with her hand another artwork from a different tradition which is from the western india rajasthan and these are certain artworks which are highly influenced by the persian miniature artists who came to india with the moghals these are the artworks which are still practiced with a lot of uh, seriousness they include the local flora and fauna sometimes the flora and fauna are inspired by uh, some foreign identity which has come from persia itself they are done on old parchment which has the urdu scripts in it and that adds to the quality a linear formation with the gradient of color which is very different from the earlier ones that we have seen in bihar or odisha here the volume is shown with the gradual formation of tones of a single color so it's monochromish in character but it has the right volume another tradition with embroidered lines there they're all stitched with 
spreads. This is known as Sojini. Some more examples of Sojini. Gondart. with semi-abstract images and overlapping throughout, creating texture with a very matured graphic formation throughout. The motif of eye is repeated almost everywhere in the picture with some textures of wave in the stone and the Water is flat along with the background which is white. Some of the creative formations of different creatures from stories and myths. The organic formation with the inner essence of natural forms. imaginary animals and a narrative formation based on the animal forms. Trees and its dwellers. Harvest, farming. The simple two-dimensional formation with a distinct background and a foreground and with no suggestion of a clear middle ground that will create a spatial depth in terms of creating an illusion of space. An artist in making of the artworks. The detailing done by the artist with brushes. So, the color overlapping is quite clear in this picture. The rendering of symmetry and asymmetry is a unique feature of this composition. It has a strong surreal component into it with unusual juxtapositions of form in utter harmony. I would like you to focus on this particular image from Gond painting tradition where you see there is a dilemma created by the overlapping images and the uh, value contrast and the value variation throughout where it confuses the audience to its ground formation. It takes us some time to understand whether the black is the image, the color that is there at the background or is it in the foreground because 
the same black is used as the foreground black which is very unique and whenever we see a color like black which has the um, lowest of value it tends to get pushed back but here uh, when the artist used a uh, black paint as its background he consciously made sure that it should not work as a background to give it a three dimensional formation rather he was keen on maintaining that two dimensional quality and that is perhaps one reason that he used the same black in intricate smaller sections which are repeated in a pattern which is also there throughout uh, which are coming at the foreground as separate images and very interestingly the blue white stripes are striking out at the same time it's getting uh, even with the other formations in the frame uh, in the thematic level if we alter and try to analyze this image and uh, see it in a altered way uh, for example let's assume that instead of adding the blue lines uh, if the if you uh, change it into red lines it would have been a red and white stripe that could have just come at the foreground and we couldn't avoid uh, having a three dimensional depth and that kind of a formation in the artwork so light blue dark blue or whitish blue and uh, another uh, light blue that combination is very thoughtfully uh, maintained throughout to give it a two dimensional look so it's not uh, an inability to create a three dimensional form rather it's the very decision of the expert artist uh, who is able to create this kind of a form and whenever we are looking at this kind of artworks we should just look at them from its elementary detail we will come to all those things in our uh, following lectures where we will see and analyze images in greater detail but before that it's very important that we get used to it so the content of art is diverse in the thematic level it comes with different stories different uh, values different identities at the same time it's all connected with a common ethic that is very much connected to the basic ethic uh, of the country uh, that is related to its uh, local text the folklores uh, the moral stories uh, also different fables and uh, that dates back to the uh, main epics that is connected to it uh, so when we look at the traditions which are um, coming or deriving from a royal patronage whereas uh, in raghurajpur odisha we see that there's a strong um, uh, regional influence that is there along with a western indian influence that has come from rajasthan where um, it was a uh, political exchange that took place during uh, the time of one king who got some painters from western india to be there uh, and that time the uh, classical temples were also uh, getting built up uh, in odisha so uh, there are reasons why it got mixed up and we are going to talk about that in detail in uh, the following lectures but right now it's very important that apart from looking at them from a complete thematic uh, angle we sh should also uh, spare some time to look at them for their artistic qualities and develop our eye of looking at uh, the images and then it uh, will provide us with the right confidence to look at them with the right approach so with that we are moving to our lectures uh, on different school of art uh, for example madhubani and the kind of cultural evolution that took place in uh, the augmentation of madhubani style of painting then we'll move to the jadupatiya tradition and also the other traditions of jharkhand uh, 
and also Bengal and Odisha to some extent to understand the variation of style for the um, existing module that we are approaching now.